Do you ever wonder how hydrogen can be liquefied? Hydrogen is the first element in the periodic table, but it has the second lowest boiling point temperature of negative 423 Fahrenheit. Do you ever wonder who has the lowest boiling point temperature? The answer is helium. The second element in the periodic table. How about the third and the fourth? They are neon and nitrogen. Because of the low boiling point temperature, helium, neon, and nitrogen are commonly used to liquefy hydrogen. In today's video, a helium Brayton cycle and liquid nitrogen are used to liquefy hydrogen. Compressed hydrogen is first introduced to the main cryogenic heat exchanger. Then it is withdrawn at an intermediate temperature to a more safe or sober bed to remove heavy components that may freeze later. It is further cooled down against helium, and eventually it is liquefied to a state of liquid at atmospheric pressure. Compressed helium gas enters the main heat exchanger at ambient temperature, then it expands at an intermediate temperature, and further expands at an even lower temperature. The second expander discharge achieves the lowest temperature in the system, and it is used to liquefy hydrogen. After helium is warmed up in the main cryogenic exchanger, it is sent to the compressor and the cooler to form a closed loop. Liquid nitrogen is used to pre-cool both helium and hydrogen. It is then vented to atmosphere after it is warmed up to ambient temperature. For hydrogen liquefaction, one key parameter to watch out is the temperature approach. On this graph, the x-axis is the temperature, while the y-axis is the delta temperature or temperature difference between hot and cold fluids. As you can see, there are four points that reaches the minimal temperature of about 2.5 Fahrenheit, so it is considered as an optimal design. Thanks for watching this video. It is brought to you by Guo Fu Chen. More interesting topics can be found at showcase.guofuchen.com.